anything with the glossy accents. It'll glue anything down again from Ranger that just works great for that. Tim's got this nifty little tool, this tiny attacher. But, uh, by just making some crisscross patterns on here with the staples, you get a real pretty little little background. And then by taking our hammer, we just stamp the back so it's safe and sound that way. And then we'll take some of the different uh, adornments that are out there. I think we'll take a, uh, some of the corners. And yeah, we'll put a corner on here, I think. First we'll put the film strip on, I think, because that's going to help us do that. And this film strip is just a great new add-on. So it lines up perfectly with the stamps. So let's go ahead and... Folks, please. Thank you so much. So we're going to just take this and also, everybody's excited, we're waiting for all the crowd to show up from here in Columbia, South Carolina today. We just hit a big blizzard, so we're all excited to have the show starting. And then just trim off any extra that you have. And never throw it away because you can use it for something else down the road here. Use that. Now we can take it in the corner. And the corners on there. These corners are great for chipboard and alike. They'll, they'll work on paper and chipboard and again, the same thing. You can just put that on and it'll make a real pretty edge like that. Now we'll take the paper distressor before we attach anything more to it and kind of finish off a little more of a bordering on this. So some long strokes and some short strokes give us a real neat little tear. From that, we'll take a dark, contrasting color. In this case, we'll go back to the vintage photo, which is one of my favorites. And we hit that edge real nice, and it's just going to make that just jump right off. And kind of finish off that tag. And my wife does a little trick that she likes to use with these darker pens. And uh, I take and make a neat little, little board around here. These glaze pens are great just to kind of frame off something and have it outlined in the areas that you might think that might just need just a little bit of a kick. Something just to make that stand out a little bit in those areas. You can also take, if you want, you can do some things where you color. Again, the different images have different things that just stand out real nicely. So if you find something that you, you know, want to make that stand out, Contrast that. You can use your pens just a little bit for some more detailing work. And these these different pens work great for that. Do one in black. And see if we can do one in white. It gives you that distressed look. And then it seems like when it dries. Between the coats on the white, you do it again, and you get more depth and opaqueness to it. The opacity increases each time it dries a little bit. Same thing with the black, we'll just hit that one more time. Just to finish that off and make it stand out nicely. This one here says it's a dollar. And the other one says, we're on video, Trev, thank you. Just a moment, young man. This is my son, Trevor. It's President's Day weekend here, and they got the weekend off from school. So we're just going to go ahead and go back over some of this stuff just to make it pop a little bit more.
again, Tim's got these philosophy tags from a release about a year ago. And these philosophy tags just are great little tags for finishing off the card. And we're going to go ahead and just pick a word. I think that uh, in honor of Tim, we're going to use the one that says journey because that's always one of Tim's favorite key phrases that it's always important to enjoy the journey. And uh, most of the time when you make any type of artwork, it uh, is a journey, getting all the pieces together, finding all the adornments, and then putting it all together. And if you just take a jump ring, you can take a jump ring and add that right into that. And you can, the nice part about the film is, you can hang that right off of there. You can take these and you can use the pin also, or the, the, the philosophy tag also with um, paint and add the paint if you wanted to, um, uh, to the letters and then just rub that out. But we're limited on time on a video, so we don't have time to do all those types of things. We'll just put that right through the sprocket of the, of the film. And find a nice one by using our awl. And that'd be something we could hang on there. We'll put that right up there by lucky number seven. Tim's new book uh, that he's got out uh, from CHA, he talks quite a bit about um, using uh, the little brads themselves and using your awl and you can just attach things in a neat way. So we'll take four of these and we'll put them on with the washers also. And the washers can serve as more like a, a little uh, way to decorate that even more thoroughly. We'll just take and put this on as such, right through there like that. We'll use our awl again. These are adjustable. They can poke through darn near anything, but you just take, put your washer then on. Then that back, and we'll just put them in a couple of corners. Maybe we'll put them in three corners. You can make a real neat little um, attach her this way. Gosh, I think two might just be enough on that. So we'll stop there with two. We're not building the Great Wall of China by any <laughs> means. So I think this will be just fine. And then we have to, of course, to stress it. So on the hammer, it's got different textures to it. I like the one with the balls on it, but we've got some lines and that works out real neat. And last but not least, always you've got to put something on there, a piece of ribbon of some sort. My wife tends to give me all the ribbons she doesn't like, so I have to take when I do this and distress it, and that makes it kind of blend in with the card just a little bit more. And, uh, and at that point, I'll take a piece of wide ribbon like this, and we'll just cut that right up the center and then we'll rough it up pretty good over a pad. I think we'll put it right through the brown ink. So you can just do that by just rubbing your, your ribbon on there as such. And it pulls out any extra hairs this way too. As you can see, it distresses that up real nice on a torn one. And at that point, we'll just go ahead and put that through the tag. Cut our ribbon up here at the end. We'll kind of just rough that up a little bit with these fine scissors. Put it through. And of course, we've got to put on our advertisement so everybody knows it was made at the Stampers Anonymous booth here in beautiful Columbia, South Carolina. And you got a tag that's made up with uh, lots of new pieces and parts. And um, it's uh, something that you can take home and inspire yourself with something for your next time you're scrapping and stamping at home. So, from Columbia, have a great day and thanks for stopping by our booth at Stampers Anonymous.